Hi guys, uh, so today we are gonna talk about my first um, bass project. Well, uh, you know, I'm a, a guitarist, so uh, bass is not my instrument. But uh, when, I wo when I had my shop, uh, you know, uh, strangely, most of the times people were bringing to me basses and that was making me feel very angry uh, because every time you want to make uh, you know a band all the times uh, the bassist is, is the hardest uh, component of the you know of the band or of the musicians you need uh, to play it's the harder one to find so there were bases everywhere but every time you you want to play it's very very hard to, to find a bassist so anyway uh, i worked on uh, a very big number of bases but uh, you know i i've never been interested to learn something on bass uh, when i closed my my shop uh, there were uh, quite um, you know a massive number of things that i had to, to sell you know to recover some money uh, last one was this bass uh, and or because my 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 father um, when he was young he, he was playing bass he, he told me to keep this one because you know it's a, a, a nice bass it's not always the, the same uh, jet bus or a pre pre precision bus, precision bus, anyway, uh, you know, always the same Fender model, classic Fender model. This is inspired uh, by the music man Stingray, so it's something different. Um, I have been always, um, you know, at least curious, cu cu curious about bass because I always seen uh, that people slapping and doing all all the things, uh, you know, the percussive things on bass. Uh, so this is the, the the opportunity to me to learn something on bass. I'm totally you know, uh, <laughs> very, very bad on bass. But, uh, you know, I, I think that uh, the first thing that, um, you know, makes you uh, play an instrument is the, the, you know, the fact that you like that instrument, even, you know, uh, the look of that instrument. Many uh, modes I made on this bass are uh, mostly uh, visual. So um, I let you have a look to this bass. I don't know if you know uh, this brand, it's Echo, which is an Italian brand. Uh, it was very, very popular here here in Italy uh, in um, I think uh, 70s they, they were making uh, inex inexpensive made in Italy very very rugged instruments so it was very very popular actually they uh, make uh, instruments in, in you know in China this is a Chinese uh, base. It was uh, made in uh, uh, 15, uh, 2015. 
and it was a a good base for for mods you know it was uh, a quite good base even you know before uh, I, I I modified it um, but it was a anyway a, a cheap instrument uh, I mean it was you know it's at the rods or uh, sharp edges, frets, uh, you know, the, 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 the bridge was made mostly from iron, uh, the, the electronics, the wiring was mm, ridiculous, uh, it was made from a lot of cables everywhere, uh, you know, cold solder joints, so you know this instrument had very very much to give but you know it was just made that way to keep the price low even if it was not so low because it was priced somewhere around you know not so much lower than um, 200 years so <sighs> It was not really expensive and, you know, it was a fairly good instrument. Uh, I like many things that came with this instrument. I like the color, to be, uh, you know, uh, honest with you, because it's uh, transparent. So the, 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 the see-through uh, color of these instruments makes me uh, see the the wood under the the paint so I'm sure that these instruments that this instrument it's not made like you know uh, an I IKEA kind of furniture uh, because you know uh, these instruments. I don't know how uh, the, the solid color um, bases from Eco are made, but I'm sure that this one it's not made by, you know, <laughs> 10 pieces. Uh, this is, I think that this is made just by two pieces. I don't know which kind of wood is this. I think it's um, base wood, but you know, it's quite good, I think. Uh, the fretboard is made uh, from um, real rosewood because this was made before the cheetahs thing. So I like also the fretboard uh, for this reason the neck is painted so it's glossy and I like glossy necks so the base was good the, the base not the base the base okay um, so every part I used for this instrument uh, came from Music Lily in these parts you know Every time I make a project about an instrument, every time the instrument uh, becomes way, way better than it, it was before. But this one really turned out very, very, very better. Um, I don't know why. I think that uh, the, the great part of this, you know, uh, improvement came from from the bridge, which gave me a very, very uh, important improvement about the, 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 the about the vibrations uh, um, coming to the wood. So when I play this instrument, this instrument even unplugged, this wood vibrates uh, very, very hardly. So uh, it changed uh, the 
the acoustics of this instrument, even, it's, uh, even if it's a solid body instrument. And the bridge was, in the bridge is a, a music lily one, and just the same, um, just like the original one, but it's, um, it's made by a better material. Also, this bridge comes originally with, I don't know if they are made out of steel or, uh, you know, zinc, zinc or uh, steel or, you know, iron, I don't know, but I changed the, um, the, um, the saddles with these, uh, which comes anyway from Music Lily, brass saddles, uh, you know, for, for bass, and these changed all the thing, I think. Also, I have made the wiring with a, uh, you know, I, I didn't use, um, you know, CTS sports, very inexpensive things. I used just the, uh, the Music Lily potentiometers, Music Lily Pro, uh, 250 Ks, because this unbugger is made from two sing every unbugger is made from two by two single coils but in this case i have uh, two separate separate volumes uh, so every bobbin of the the unbugger is controlled um, you know uh, by itself so i uh, my thoughts was to, to treat the, 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 the pickup just like a uh, two separate um, single coils. I also used a, um, a capacitor, a um, orange drop uh, 47 uh, nanofarads capacitor. Uh, which was the, the, the just the, the same um, value as the original Music Man, and the jack uh, it's uh, made by Music Lily, um, and this is just a, a good working, a reliable uh, jack which is worth almost nothing. I mean, which is prized almost nothing. Um, so, also the electronics made the pickup, which is very, very cheap, coming from uh, from Eco. Um, this pickup became very, very clear, very, very, um, you know, detailed with the new um, wiring. Even because I used the, uh, the, the Music Lily uh, wires, which I think are uh, less capacitive, so uh, it's, they um, conduct the, uh, the very, very tiny uh, current coming from the, uh, the, the pickup way, way better than the old um, you know, messy wiring, uh, which usually Chinese factories mm, does. Uh, so, uh, as I told you before, the uh, the pickup remained uh, the same. I didn't change the pickup because um, you know this is a quite uncommon pickup, it's a music, a music man kind of pickup, uh, so I'm waiting for Music Lily to take from, for me a um, Wilkinson uh, pickup for, um, you know, uh, music, um, a Wilkinson um, music man style pickup. So I will change this in the near future, I hope. Another thing I changed is the, uh, the, the, the pick guard, uh, which was just cocaine white, 
uh, and it was made very very bad uh, you know the, the the edges of that original um, pig guard was were not uh, straight so it, they were all dented I, it was very very bad usually I play on light colored instruments dark um, pig guards uh, you know, usually not you know every time but I uh, my thoughts was to uh, imitate the original look of these instruments so I I seen that music man usually makes the, the puts the black picard on natural um, you know uh, sting rays. It was just a um, an easy fitting. Uh, it was not uh, one hundred percent perfect fitting. I had to change some little things. Um, you know, the neck pocket uh, was not um, you know. Um, the same that then the the the, the 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 one on the pickguard, but uh, it was just mounting a a pick a new pickguard on a bass or guitar, you know. Um, also, I changed the the strap pins with the shallow style. Um, music Lily ones because you know I'm us usually I'm actually um, I'm, I, I mean I'm currently using the the, the old the old the older ones uh, the ones with the the flat ones with the uh, some kind of syringe uh, lock the one the ones which we uh, which goes. Uh, locked in this way, but I think that the um, the shallower ones w w are better for this kind of instruments because because it's very heavy. So I think that that ones would be much more rugged for keeping these instruments. Um, another important thing that I changed are the, the, the tuning machines which are uh, Music Lily Pro uh, bass uh, tuning machines these are very very rugged um, the old ones that were originally on these instruments this instrument were just moving very very flimsy very very uh, you know uh, cheap these ones are rugged are you know, accurate. I love these ones. Uh, and they are just the, the, the traditional uh, open gear kind of um, tuning machines. And you know, it's strange, but I changed these uh, these um, the, the string retainer the retainer tree because I don't know why the old one uh, was shouting. Um, look at me, I'm a cheap instrument. I don't know why, but it was very, very uh, big, very, uh, you know, plastic feeling, you know. I was in a very, very hurry to change this one. Anyway, um, you will uh, listen to this instrument uh, in some days, uh, I ask uh, to you to forgive me for my bad playing. I'm not a you know uh, an excellent, a, a good uh, musician, and this is not my instrument. So uh, I'll try to let you listen to something. I, I'll try to do my best but I'm not a bassist and I want to you know used uh, I, I want to use 
uh, you know, this opportunity to have an instrument which some, in some way inspires me to learn something on bass. So I hope I'll be, uh, you know, able to let you hear the sound. Um, you know, please um, pay attention to the, the um, intonation of this instrument, which comes mainly from, from the bridge, and I, uh, that kind of, uh, you know, intonation was completely absent with the original bridge. Also, I have made the, uh, the videos of the, uh, the, you know, the complete videos of all the works I, I did on this instrument for the, the subscribers of my channel. You can subscribe, uh, you know, uh, to my channel to see that that videos. So, um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and see you.